KRT-50 had been built as a prototype in 1970. You could say that means when it was released the tech was out of date, but it wasn't. This was an incredible design that had been prototyped and tested in the world of racing and it was unbeatable. The engine was groundbreaking in many ways and the tandem twin cylinder engine was arranged with two single cylinder engines placed one behind the other with the crankshafts connected by large gears. Originally they used the 180 degree firing order but this was redesigned so the pistons rose and fell together which actually decreased the problems of vibration that the earlier engines had suffered from. The exhaust from the front cylinder was rooted centrally under the front of the engine with the rear exiting under the seat which allowed a greater lean angle. The engine was fed by two rotary disc valves. The engine made the motorcycle really narrow and it was much smaller and more aerodynamic than most of its competitors. First developed by the great Yvonne Duhamel, it was in the hands of Corky Ballington and Anton Mang that Kawasaki won both the 250 and 350 titles in 1978, 79 and 81 winning a total of eight titles in just five years with four constructors championships thrown in for good measure. The more I look into this bike the more I realize I think I'm going to have to do a video just about this motorcycle. Its development and the advances it brought to the world of two-stroke engine technology are fascinating. The KRT50 was made as a production bike for just three years from 1984 to 1986 at the end of its illustrious racing career.